Hello, my friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, family members, distant and near, to all my friends around the world. This is Brother Des coming to you today, sharing the prophetic Bible teachings about last days and the coming of Jesus Christ for Sunday, June the 12th, 2022. Check out this ministry on YouTube, Facebook, my story, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Also check out uh, our website, www.cobanjay.com. Engage in this ministry by viewing, sharing, and praying for the prophetic Bible teaching. Today we will continue our studies in Revelation 22. This chapter is all about God's blessing in the future. It's the blessing of paradise, the blessing and faithfulness of the truthfulness of the things that will shortly be done, the blessings of adhering to the prophecy of the book of Revelation, the blessings of being a fellow servant with angels, and today the blessings to teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. Let's study. The prophetic text for the day is taken from Revelation 22, 10 through 13. And he said unto me, Seal not the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to render to each as his or her work shall be. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first in the last. The topic for today is teaching the prophecy of the book of Revelation. This comes from the portion of the verse, in verse 10 rather, and he said unto me, seal not the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. The Apostle Paul called such times perilous times. Jesus predicted that in such times there will be wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines, pestilence, strange diseases, hate among people, killing, love will grow cold. For such times, note what the Apostle John stated. And he said unto me, Seal not the words of the prophecy of this book. Do not cover it up. Do not hide it. Tell it. Teach it. John is sharing with us very important information about not sealing the prophecy of the book of Revelation. In other words, do not stop teaching the prophecy of the book of Revelation. Therefore, emerge from the prophetic text above are six important pieces of information. One, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. The time is short. In verse 10. Second, Teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. The holy must stay holy. The just must continue to be just so that the unjust could be saved. Verse 11. Three, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. I am coming quickly. Verse 12a. And four, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation, I will give rewards, 12b. 
and 5, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Note 6, to him or to those who want to join the group or such groups that will be holy and righteous. We find here the thing that he or she must do. Let's now unpack our teaching for the day. Number one, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation for the time is near. Seal not the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Revelation 22 and 10 tells us the question, why must the prophecy of the book of Revelation be taught? The answer, the time is near. It's to the reference of Jesus saying, Behold, I come quickly. And second, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. The holy must stay holy. The just must continue to be just. That word just means justified. So that the unjust, those who are not justified, could become justified or saved. There are still unjust and filthiness in the world. Therefore, because the time is near and Jesus Christ is coming quickly, Verse 11 reminds us that the unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still, meaning that because the time will be quickly, and Jesus is coming, if people do not change, if believers do not witness, so that people could be changed, they will be the same way still. The teaching here, if you are living holy, the holy will continue to be holy. There is no time to look back. There is no time to worry about what other people say and who may not be living like you. If you are righteous, the righteous will continue to be righteous by applying the blood of Jesus Christ for the sinful nature and are justified and forgiven. This is why they're called righteous. The reasons given why the holy and the righteous must continue to be holy and righteous. And at the same time, they must teach the book of Revelation. Why? So that the unjust or the unjustified, those who are not given and are continuing in their way, unless you who are holy and righteous will continue to give forth the word, the filthy will continue in his or her way because uncleanness and filthiness can only be erased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Unless those who have been justified continue to live in a justified manner so that those who are not justified may come to know Christ as Lord and Savior. And the truth about it, the time is near. So keep teaching. This book of Revelation and its prophecies. Because if you do not, and if I do not, verse 11 tells us the just, the unjust, will be unjust still. The filthy will be filthy still. The righteous will continue to be righteous. And the holy will continue to be holy. So if you are holy and righteous, Make sure that the unjust will come to Christ. God wants change. 
Therefore, we must teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. It will get the attention of people. In fact, some people are even afraid to read the book of Revelation. But you know, Jesus Christ wants us to read it. In fact, in Revelation 1, 3, this is what he said. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those sayings which are written therein, the book of Revelation, for the time is near. The third thing, teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. Jesus said, I am coming quickly. The quickly here is the method, the methodology in his coming. It's fast. And behold, I come quickly, he said. Behold, hello, look, give me your attention. I am coming quickly. It will be fast to all people. It will be so quick and very fast. You will not have time to prepare. 1 Corinthians 15, 52 reminds us, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. To the believers, your works will be tried, and you will receive a reward. You will not have to make up well, you would not have time, rather, to make up or to see somebody else come to know Christ. Therefore, the time is short and his coming is quickly. Therefore, quick works must be done by the holy and the just or the justified. Why must it be done quickly? There are still unjust and filthy activities in this world. Therefore, because the time is near and Jesus Christ is coming quickly, God needs more ambassadors in the world today. For 2 Corinthians 5, 17 to 21 presents it this way. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passing away and behold, all things are becoming new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and had given to us the ministry of reconciliation to with or because that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed Unto us the word of reconciliation, which was done through Jesus Christ. Now, then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God, or agree with God, and realize that as believers of Jesus Christ, given to us the ministry of reconciliation, committed unto the word of reconciliation. Now God, now through God, we are ambassadors in Christ. Note, for he had made us, or made him rather, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God because of the above God wants us to know something right now because the time is near and that he's coming soon. God has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Two, committed to us the word of reconciliation. Three, committed to us the, 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 the word of reconciliation. And he has given us or made us ambassadors for Jesus Christ. So we got the word, the ministry committed to us, and we are ambassadors of Jesus Christ. 
we are reconcilers as ambassadors. Note, Hebrews 6.10 tells us, For God is not on righteousness to forget your work and labor of love, which he has shown toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. This brings us to the fourth section. Teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. And Jesus said, I will give rewards. And my reward is with me, he said, to every one according to his or her work shall be. My reward is with me. Note, it's not your reward, not my reward. But the my reward here refers to Jesus Christ. He is the one that will give it. He say, I will give to every person. Every person who's watching and waiting and righteous still and holy still will receive a reward for being the ambassadors and carrying out the ministry of reconciliation. Note, the gifts are promised to the believers of the various church period, those who endured. And we find Revelation gives several. The crown of life will not be hurt by the second death. I will give him hidden manna, manna and a white stone and a stone with a new name written that no man knows but he who receives it. Also that overcomer would, I will give power over the nations. He shall rule them with the rod of iron. And I will give him the morning star. I will clothe him in white raiment. And will not blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and his angels. I will make him a pillow or her. A pillar in the temple of my God. And he or she shall go in and out. And I will write upon him or her the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from God. And I will write upon him my new name, Revelation 3.12. I will grant him to sit or her to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and I sat down with my father in his throne. Revelation 3, 20 through 21. What his or her works prove, they will be proven by fire. These believers will be working for me. Note the mechanism for works and receiving the rewards. 1 Corinthians 3.13 Every man's work shall be made manifest for the day will declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. The fire of the Holy Spirit. This brings us to the five major sections. Teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation. I am the Alpha and the Omega, God said. The beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. I am the great I am. He is the Alpha and Omega. Which is the Greek alphabet? Meaning, in our alphabet, the A to the Z. Without the A and the Z, there's nothing else before the A, nothing after the Z. And putting all language together. In other words, as he said, he is the beginning and the end. The first and the last. So, to join the group of those who will not be the thing 
that he or she must do and able to teach the prophecy of the book of Revelation to become a righteous and holy member of the people of God to leave from the group that the Bible calls filthy still and unjust still those in these groups must become just or justified or forgiven. Note what Jesus Christ said. Come unto me, all ye that are unforgiven, laden with heavy weights, the weights of sin. I will take your load from you and give you rest you will find that the weights that I will impose upon you are light. Just living for me, telling others about what I did for you, so that they may also be justified, because the time is near, and I am coming soon. So, believers, do not stop teaching the prophecy. Notice it didn't say prophecies. The prophecy, the whole book, is a prophecy of God. And he said, the time is near. Remember, all you are, my friends, I love you. But guess what? Jesus Christ loves you more. Have a nice day. God bless you and your family. Brother Des. Amen and amen.